Hi and welcome to this quick training video on Boardmaker Online which is now available from Spectrix. So if you're ready to ditch that Boardmaker CD for good but keep using the program that you know and love then maybe Boardmaker Online is for you. Maybe you already have Boardmaker Online and you just want a little bit of extra information about how to use it then that's why you've come here today to look at this training video. My name is Amanda Hartman, I'm a speech pathologist and one of the consultants here at Spectronics and yes it is true, I am the self-proclaimed queen of Boardmaker around here so it's my job to welcome you and say good day here from Australia and bring to you this series of quick videos that can tell you a little bit more about Boardmaker Online. So these training videos will cover a variety of topics so enjoy! This first one is just going to be a really quick overview. When you go into Boardmaker Online for the first time, you might feel a little bit, yikes, what's going on? There's lots and lots of buttons going on, lots of drop down menus. So this is without going in or launching or doing anything, this is just going to give you a quick overview so you know what's what when you're using Boardmaker Online. So let's go and have a look at it now. Okay, so here I am. I have logged in with my into my account you can see for the purposes of this training I'm using this uh, Spectronics district account so this is my main home page so when I click the home page this is the opening dashboard that you come to and you can see this is my profile if I have messages or friend requests or group updates those are all there and basically right from this home thing I can access some of those premium activities so that's some of those pre-made um, professional content stuff that has been produced by Boardmaker so that you can go straight to there I can click straight here to start creating activities and remember when I click create activities because that takes us to what's called the Boardmaker online editor this is my online editing tool when I click that you can see how that opens up into a brand new window so a whole new window is loading up for the online editor to go into so that's just having a little bit of a think about it there it is um, but we're going to have a lot more a closer look at how we create activities and stuff soon so let's close that now you can also find activities which allows us to search the um, incredible incredibly huge database of what's already there on the Boardmaker community from years and years of collection and there's also all of our help places as well down the bottom also you have a few different things, recent activities, um, it talks about what activity you've had in the last seven days. There's also administrative dashboard there where you can look at um, student usage and um, your account management and all that sort of thing. So let's go across. So we've just looked at the home bar. Okay, so now we're going to look at the next tab along, which is the My Board Maker tab, and that's probably where we're going to spend the most amount of time when you're using your um, Board Maker online, because this is where all of our activities and things are stored. So let's load that. Okay, so when I click My Board Maker Online, you can see it takes me to My Activities. And basically, this are, these are just the activities that I have created that are linked to, to me, Amanda Hartman, my account. So if I found an activity, I've added it to my set of activities. If I've created an activity, it's in here as well. Um, I've got some folders there, which I'm going to show you how to do later, so that I can go um, keep all of my stuff that I'm making organized right from this start. So that's my activities. There's also the instructional solutions, and those are basically some of the um, pre made, um, ready made, excellent, fantastic resources that are of resources that are available as an extra. The playlist, we're going to have a think and talk about the playlist in a little while. So that's where you can um, set up a list of activities that you want to use for a particular lesson. And then there's obviously some media of, I don't know, just some other bits and pieces you might want to be adding to things. Okay, so um, so that was my, the My Board Maker tab. When you're on your My Activities, you can see here that I've got those options um, to create an activity which is just going to open up that online editor again. Create an activity set, which will allow you to create a, a collection of activities together and will save them together all in a set right from the get-go. So if you've got multiple pages relating to a, a theme unit of work or something, then you can do that. Um, I also can upload an activity from here and I can create a folder um, to organize things. So that's the basic overview of the My Board Maker tab. The next tab along 
So that's that. The next tab along is the students tab and this is where I manage um, individual student data. So with Boardmaker Online we have the ability to um, log in students and assign them um, activities to do and monitor their usage and um, a whole lot of things. So you can see here I'm going to go through this in a little bit more detail in another video but this is the place where I go to actually manage most of um, my student stuff. So the student management basically just allows me to look at my students and um, assign them tasks and whatnot. So that's the students tab. The next tab is the activities tab and this is basically um, again when I click on the community activities there um, this takes me to that searchable database of activities and boards. So this is using um, the existing board maker activities that have already been loaded on. So um, things that have been up there from if you've been part of the board maker community or board maker achieve for a few years then you will um, be able to access and search activities there. There are also the premium, acti premium activities that you can search and this is also there's also a drop down tab where I can click there that allow me to upload an activity. So if you're an existing board maker user and you've got some activities from version 6 or um, that you've been using you can upload them into your account so that they're all saved on your board maker online account. Okay, so that was the activities tab. The next tab is the community tab. And when I click on the community tab, um, you can see I've got options because you can create friends and different groups and, um, and have a look so that you've got a collection of people that you can follow and who can follow you, become your friends on Boardmaker so you can do sharing of resources very easily. Similarly in groups, you can join groups of like-minded people. And this is where you would browse for members for, so for friends and browse different groups that you might be a part to interested to be a part of and also create a group. Again, we're going to have another video in regards to that. This is a really important tab, it's the help tab and obviously these are all my um, the different bits and pieces that I need if I need um, help and support or training resources, those are all there. And then the last drop down tab that I have along the this whole red toolbar on my opening page is my admin tab and this is where I've got um, my account settings um, and managing my account so there's a few different things but this is also where I um, can manage my instructors so that's if I'm part of a district and I've got uh, multiple teachers or other people using the Boardmaker Online that's where I manage that from and the students is where I manage the different students in my class so depending on what type of um, account you've subscribed to a district, a personal or professional you'll have different settings um, in this admin section so just bear that in mind and then I have a search window which is fantastic if I need to search for something and the last thing is I've also got my drop down menu up next to my name that has my personal account, my any messages, my settings and also my log out button there. Okay so that is basically what you see when you first look at Boardmaker Online. So of course the, probably the most important places you're going to be going to is you're going to be going to here to create activities you're going to go to here to find activities. You're also going to be going to, so those were from my home page and also from your My Boardmaker tab. You're also going to be going there so that you can actually um, access the activities that you already have. So here's all um, my activities and you can see that um, it goes back to where I was last time. So. I can just use these little navigational tabs to take me back and I've got a whole lot of activities there ready waiting to go and they have all these little orange buttons which we're going to talk about in a little while as we get um, more and more familiar with Boardmaker, Boardmaker Online. So that's it, that's all I needed to show you today because um, on this video it was just to give you a quick, quick demonstration and overview of the main menus in Boardmaker Online. Thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing more about Boardmaker Online with you soon. Bye now.